Oftentimes when you're speaking to somebody for the very first time, it can feel a little bit awkward because both parties might not know what to say. Oftentimes when you're speaking to somebody for the very first time, it can feel a little bit awkward. Oftentimes, often 똑같은 거예요. Often, oftentimes. 네. 그런데 often 같은 경우에는 문장 중간에 올 때는 더 often을 많이 쓰고 Yeah, I do this often 네. or something. 네. 아니면 I often do, do something. That. Yeah. 그런데 often을 맨 앞에 쓰고 싶을 때는 often, often. 해도 되는데 Right? Often times are quite much used in this way. I think so. 네. When you say just often, when you blah blah blah, often times feels a little bit more natural, even though they're both okay. 너무 짧아서 그런 것 같아요. Yeah, I think because 네. it's short. 네. But they're both okay. But say often times, you impress your friends. <웃음> often times를 쓰면 친구들이 오 저런 표현도 안 해라고 생각하겠죠. 그래서 often 너무 짧은 표현을 쓰기보다는 맨 앞에 종종이라고 할때 often times 아니면 뭐. More often than not, 이라든지 mm -hmm. 똑같은 뜻을 갖고 있는 더 긴 표현들을 써주는 경향이 있어요. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes, when you are speaking to somebody for the very first time, mm -hmm. 똑같은 거죠. For the first time, 하고 for the very first yes. time, 하고 뭐 very가 빠졌다고 해서 뭐가 차이가 나는 건 아닌데 강조를 하는 겁니다. Yes. 정말로 누군가와 처음으로 이야기를 할 때는 mm -hmm. it can feel a little bit awkward. awkward. 약간 어색하게 느껴질 수가 있어요. 왜냐하면 she says. Because both parties might not know what to say. 여기서 말하는 both parties, party가 여러 뜻이 있어요. 크게 세 가지 뜻으로 생각하시면 됩니다. 방금 이게 첫 번째 oh, 뜻이고요. Sorry. 네. I'm having a party. 네, 몸짓으로 보여주신 party, party, <웃음> birthday parties, yeah. 생일 파티, 그리고 political parties. Yes. 정치 관련해서 정당, mm -hmm. political parties, 그리고 이제 당사자. Mm -hmm. So yeah, 네. two parties in a conversation or two parties who are signing a contract together. Just 그렇죠. people who are on opposite sides. Mm -hmm. 양쪽이에요. Yeah. 네. Yeah. 그래서 <웃음> 양쪽 다, both parties, 양쪽 다, 관계자 mm -hmm. 양쪽 다 might not know what to say. Mm -hmm. 무슨 말을 해야 할지 모를 수 있기 때문이죠. 그래서 True. it can feel awkward. True that. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else she has to say. So in order to break the ice, I find it helpful to ask the person questions about themselves because I've noticed that most people seem to feel quite comfortable talking about themselves. So, in order to break the ice, I find it helpful to ask the person questions about themselves. So, in order to break the ice, 그래서 서먹함을 없애기 위해서 I find it helpful, helpful. to I find it easy to, I find it helpful to, I find it difficult to 하면 은 mm -hmm. 뭐뭐 하는 것이 이렇다라고 느낀다, 해보니까 yeah. 이렇더라 이고요. Ask the person, ask the person questions about themselves. Yeah. 앞에 요약 문장에서는 themselves라고 했고 여기서는 themselves라고 했는데 두 가지 다 성립 가능합니다. In this case, because she said ask the person mm. about themselves. 그래서 사실은 우리가 이 themselves라는 단어가 생겨나기 전에는 항상 어떻게 했었냐면 ask the person about him or herself. Yeah. 길게 말했어요. It was too long. Him or herself. Yeah. Himself, himself or herself라고는 잘안 하고 보통 yeah. him, him or, her or herself. herself. 이게 him or herself 그러니까 herself. 그냥 themselves라고 하는데 mm. 또 여기서는 themselves라고 말을 해주셨어요. Mm. 그리고 mm. Because I've noticed that most people seem to feel quite comfortable talking about themselves. w h e r e helpful 하냐면, 도움이 되냐면, uh, I've noticed that, I find that, I've noticed that, I, I learned, realized that, I, realized, I, I learned, learned that. that. <웃음> 대체할 수 있는 표현도 여러 가지가 있네요. That most people seem to feel quite comfortable. Mm -hmm. 대부분의 사람들이 꽤 편안하게 느끼는 것 같더라고요. Mm -hmm. Talking about themselves. themselves. 자기 자신에 대해서 이야기하면서 여기서는 100% themselves입니다. Yeah. 왜냐면 앞에 나온 게 people이니까. Well, yeah, people. Most yeah. people. Yeah, multiple people이니까 mm -hmm. themselves는 여기서는 안 돼요. Yes, 네. that's right. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the next part. So if the person happens to mention that they play a sport, for example, I might ask them, oh, what type of sport do you play? How often do you play it? And why do you like playing that sport? So, if the person happens to mention that they play a sport, for example. 그래서, if the person happens to, happen to 라는 것은 마침 뭐뭐 하는 거죠. Mm -hmm. 그 사람이 예를 들어서, 예를 들어서 맨 마지막에 있었어요. 이야기를 하다가 마침 어떤 
play a sport, 어떤 특정 스포츠를 한다고 언급을 하게 되면 mm -hmm. Then what does she do? I might ask them, oh, what type of sport do you play? How often do you play it? 저는 이렇게 물을 수도 있어요. Mm -hmm. Oh, what type of sport do you play? Mm -hmm. 어떤 스포츠 하세요? Mm -hmm. 얼마나 자주 하세요? Hmm. And another question is, and why do you like playing that sport? 여기서부터 대화가 더 재밌어질 것 같아요. Yeah. Why 부르면 아 이런 느낌이 있어서 이런 것 때문에 좋아합니다. Why yeah. do you like playing that sport? Mm -hmm. What type of sport do you play? 하면 이건 단답형이잖아요. Mm -hmm. 그 다음에 how often? Uh, once a week. That's it. That's it. Right? And there's silence. Silence, right? But if you ask why do you like it, they can elaborate more on it, yeah. and you can start having a conversation. Well, I like 그렇죠. these things too, and yeah. you're like, ah. Oh, so no. that's a, yeah, that's a really good question. Yeah. Why do you like playing that sport? Right, for sure. All right. Let's see what else she has to say. And I find that this type of easy conversation tends to break the ice quite easily because it puts the person at ease and it shows that the conversation is flowing smoothly. So this is my little trick that I use when meeting new people. And I find that this type of easy conversation tends to break the ice quite easily. 그리고 I find that 다시 한번 등장하죠. Mm -hmm. 해보니까 이렇더라라는 겁니다. This type of easy conversation. Easy conversation 직역하면 쉬운 대화예요. 쉬운 대화. Mm -hmm. 그렇지만 여기서는 쉽다, 뭐 easy, difficult보다는 그냥 comfortable conversation. Yeah. 편안한 It's 대화. Comfortable. The person can comfortably talk about themselves 네. and she can ask about the things they're talking about. Themselves. 네, 생각을 <웃음> 깊게 할 필요가 없는 yeah. 그냥 편안한 대화죠. 그렇게 번역했고요. Mm -hmm. Tends to break the ice quite easily. 이런 편안한 대화가 서먹함을 쉽게 없앨 수 있는 것 같더라고요. Hmm. And why? She says, because it puts the person at ease and it shows that the conversation is flowing smoothly. 그리고 it puts the person at ease. At ease. Put 하면은 놓는 거잖아요. Mm -hmm. 그래서 at ease, 편안한 상태에 놓아준다 mm -hmm. 라는 겁니다. 그래서 그 사람을 편안하게 해주고 yeah. uh, It shows that the conversation is flowing smoothly. smoothly. 대화가 뚝뚝 끊기지 않고 지금 어, 계속 주고받고 하는 어떤 단어, 문장들이 있다라는 mm. 거죠. 스무들이 계속 흘러가는구나. 그러면 상대방이 편하게 느낄 수 있겠죠? Of course, and it's less awkward. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you have something to talk about. <laughs> so lastly, she says, So this is my little trick that I use when meeting new people. 그래서 this is my little trick that I use. 여기서 말한 trick이라는 것은 요령 정도로 생각하시면 되겠습니다. Mm -hmm. 제가 사용하는 요령이에요. Mm -hmm. When meeting new people, when right. yeah, I am meeting, meeting new, new people. people, I am 생략되었고요. Mm -hmm. 정말 사람마다 다른 것 같은 게 I met some, I've met some people who mm -hmm. use this kind of trick. When they meet somebody for the first time, when they met me for the first time. Oh, And they did. Sometimes I felt like I was being interviewed. Oh, really? It's 너무 지나치게 되면은 oh, 뭔가 인터뷰를 right. 지금 받고 있는 건가? 그런 oh. 생각이 들 수도 있지만. Yeah, so you, I guess you can't go overboard with asking too many questions yeah, just, about them. Yeah, I think the key phrase is putting the person at ease. At ease, yeah. right? If you see that they're uncomfortable, you gotta slow down. Yeah, cut down <laughs> on your questions. <laughs> Perfect. Let's review and take a look at our clip once again. As somebody who has had to move to different countries a number of different times, I quickly learned that socializing was a skill I needed to improve on in order to make friends quickly in my new environment. Oftentimes when you're speaking to somebody for the very first time, it can feel a little bit awkward because both parties might not know what to say. So in order to break the ice, I find it helpful to ask the person questions about themselves because I've noticed that most people seem to feel quite comfortable talking about themselves. So if the person happens to mention that they play a sport, for example, I might ask them, oh, what type of sport do you play? How often do you play it? And why do you like playing that sport? And I find that this type of easy conversation tends to break the ice quite easily because it puts the person at ease and it shows that the conversation is flowing smoothly. So this is my little trick that I use when meeting new people.